Hey, Yvonne from Colorado here, and I want to record a video to show you how to upload the 30-day or the 7-day pre-written email series. So I'm inside of my Aweber. Um, again, I don't know how to do this for GetResponse. I don't know anything pretty much about GetResponse. I can only show you how to um, upload this campaign inside of Aweber. Um, so this video is specifically for Aweber users. Now, what you're going to do, you're going to come over to the Easy Cash Code, and you're going to go to the Files section. Um, inside of the file section is the seven day or the 30 day pre written email series. Now, the first seven letters of the 30 day are the same as the seven. Now, keep in mind when you're doing this, the reason you're uploading these is so that the emails are already pre written and then you're going to go inside of each email um, and edit the links and also edit um, and add your contact information. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, click on the pre written 30 day email autoresponder series. You'll, again, you'll see it in the file section when you come in. Here's the pre written 30 day. Here's the pre-written seven day. You decide which one you want. I always say go with the 30 day because um, the longer you stay in front of a person, then the more uh, chance you have to convert them into a cell. So I would say choose the pre-written 30 day. Now some of you have said that when you click on this link, it won't open for you. If you'll right click and say open link in a new tab or window, it will open up and things will be just fine. So if you're finding that you're clicking on the link and it's not opening, then just again right click on it and open it in a new window and it opens just fine. Now what you're looking for is this Aweber campaign sharing code. So you're going to come here, you're going to go again from the front of the A to the end of the F and right click and copy. And now you're going to go back over to Aweber. Now in Aweber you should have already created the list. I'm not going to go into how to create a list or how to create an Aweber account because there's already a video tutorial for that. This video is specifically to show you how to upload the series. So what you're going to want to do is find that list and I believe I created, I created one specifically for this video, um, ECC tutorial video. So this is the list that I just created. So you're going to click on the list um, and then you're going to go inside. Um, you're going to go to messages. You're looking for legacy follow-up series. Do not use this campaigns beta. I know we're uploading a campaign and that's what people are going looking for. You want to look for legacy follow-up series and click on that. Once you click on that, you're going to come down here where it says looking for campaign sharing and click on that. And then in this box that says use a predefined campaign by entering the campaign code, you're going to right click and paste in that code. Again, make sure there's no extra spaces before or after um, the A or the F and, and then you'll click on load campaign. And then you'll see that it's loading. It may take a while because it's loading all 30 of the emails into your account. Once you see that it's done and the blue button is back, you can scroll up. When it's done, you're going to see all the emails here. So now that you have the series uploaded, you're just going to go into each email, um, click on the link. So now that you're inside of the email, you're going to edit the link. So you'll have right here, place your easy cash code sales page link here. Now, I know that I say put your links here. Um, you're going to want to put your sales page link here or if you have it connected to a domain name. I have mine connected to my domain. So that's the link that I put in here. So you're going to want to put your sales page link, not the actual link to your capture page because people have already opted into your list. What you want to do is send them back to the sales letter. Um, so you want to put your sales page link in. Uh, I'll show you where to get that. If you come over here to marketing sites and click on marketing sites, this is your sales page, the one with the video. So you would literally just come here and copy this. Now again, I use my own domain, so my my domain links to this sales page. But if you're just putting this in your autoresponder series, that is fine as well. So then you would just come back over here and edit it. Um, you would copy this and then you can right click and paste. And just paste your link right there. And then now after you've pasted your link, you're going to actually need to make it clickable. Now you're going to hover over it again, highlight it. Click the link um, and you need to paste it in again because you want it to be clickable. So now you have a clickable link in your emails. And so scroll down, do the same thing here. You're going to again highlight it, uh, right click and paste over it. And then you got to go back over it uh, because now you want to link it. Go back in, paste in your link, click OK. And then you're going to do that every time you see the place your easy cash code page link here. Um, again, highlight it right click and paste then you're going to highlight it again because again you want to make it click clickable paste and say okay and then down here is where you're going to want to put your name your phone number your email address whatever 
uh, because you want to make sure that people get to know you. So you're going to put your name, your phone number, if you want your phone number, um, and your email address if you want that. If not, you can just put your name. They're going to already see your email address because they'll be getting your emails. And that's pretty much it. Now, there's something else that you can do. Now, if you're using, uh, if you're allowing Aweber to track your clicks for you, when these letters go out to people, they may see a really weird link like this Aweber coding. If you don't want people to see that link, then the way I would do my links, instead of pasting this link out to be seen like that, you have the option to just, I would go, I would delete this completely and just make this my link. Watch this video now. Um, just hover over the words, right click the link and paste in that um, link there instead. And now you can go and bold this and those are your links. So you have two ways to do it. If you don't like that the people are going to see that long, really weird Aweber looking link, then just hyperlink some of the words instead. So again, if I didn't want to see this link, you can uh, delete it and then go over some words that you want. Start by watching this short video, hover over it, click link, uh, paste in your link again, click OK. And then now this link will take them to, again, back to the sales letter. And then we'll just change them all again. You can delete this line and uh, hover over the get here and do it quick. Just hover over get here, make that make that clickable instead of actually showing a visible link. So we'll place that in, hit bold, again, change your full name, phone number, email, and then you're gonna hit save. Once you've hit save, um, you'll notice that it, the check mark popped up, it showed that it was saved. You can even preview and test this if you wanna know what it's gonna look like. So you click on preview and test, put your email address in this box and hit send. Um, it'll show that it was sent um, and then you can go check your email and see what that email looks like um, and that's pretty much it and then you would hit save and exit and then go in and do the very next thing to the next one so you would go to the next one and do a gift to you and then so on until you've done all 30 of them but that's it I just want to show you how to add that and how to go in and edit each one once you've done with all 30 emails you're ready to rock and roll um, again, this video was not to show you how to connect this to your capture pages or how to create a list in Aweber. You'll find those videos inside of the affiliate training section. I hope that was helpful and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Thank you for watching. For more information, click the link in the description for a free video presentation. Go to endyourmoneyproblems.com. Again, endyourmoneyproblems.com. We'll see you over there.